Yes! Did you do me to yes! Yes! Go, 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 go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Shoot up his tires. Bollocks. He fired the car, you'll miss three out of four shots. Shoot his tires. That's very good. Here. God, look at that. Son, I don't know why you're so small for you're at me at a house and home. Do you know I think you'd hate Christ if he fell off the cross? What happened to your leg? I fell. Thought you said you twisted your ankle kicking something. I, I... I kicked the tin, and then I twisted my ankle, and then I fell. You were probably sniffing glue and you tripped over your imagination. <laughs> Very funny, fatso. Don't pull me out or I'll break your face for you! Well, don't you accuse me of glue sniffing. Sean, just shut up and get to work. I have a twisted foot. Never mind your twisted foot. You'll be late again and you're keeping us back. Anyway, it's YTP, not work. You get to it, never mind. Come on. We're not leaving here until you're out in front of us. Rider. Well, I don't care what he is. Trying to hand over one of your own to the Brits. And what a 
day, pack of murderers and jailbirds. Yeah, what sort of an Irish man are you anyway? Do you know him again? No, I'm all right. And I'll get him. Did you get a car and run him down? Aye. <laughs> we could chase him till he drops with exhaustion and then run over him. But not kill him. No. Just over his legs. Back and forward. Till his legs are a pulp. He'll never be able to walk <laughs> again. We should get a bus or one of those big coiloids or something. Ah, oh, bus. That'll be better. <laughs> Where'd you get these? Oh, I had to get a prescription for my dog. See you, Marley. You are a dickhead. Those hats. Thanks, Sean. At least we'll be all right this week. <laughs> Here, Sean. You and Francis could blow them up and pin them on the ends of sticks. Very funny. Nah, they're no good if you stick pins in them. That's enough to happen with your dad, Marley. Now, you safe day. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Sean. Has your ma been beating you again? My ma doesn't beat me, Marley. Some man in the shop started hitting me for nothing. Tried to hand me over the bridge, so he did. Why don't we tell the provies he's a tight and get him plugged? We'll tell nobody nothing. We'll deal with him ourselves, Mr. Big Man. One, is he? He's the one in the red dress, four eyes. I bet he's still the best. What the bloody lamp are you looking at? He's not as good as you, Marley. Maybe you should get your own wee gang together. Marley and the wall bangers. He'll be out tonight. Bet you any money. He's probably down now to get a car. Bollocks. Your man's a big poser. How about you doing to Avis to hire one? Big Tommy. <laughs>
You all right, love? Yeah. Never again. It's me off shellfish for life. I will hope it was only shellfish. Oh, for God's sake, Matt, of course it was only shellfish. Do you think I would be that stupid? You were that stupid twice before. And anyway, Pierre Dorley's old enough to be your father. And he's already the father of nine others. Well, you can relax because he's not going to make a ten with me. You could do better for yourself, love. Ah, if I could lose about three stone, be reborn this time beautiful instead of rich, perhaps. This smoke's going off. Just your old gob turned it sour. Rosaline not around today? Did you know that, Tommy Donnacky? Big Tommy? I saw him last night joyriding. He's the best. He got himself killed last night. Stood a bread van and carried off. Wrapped it round a telegraph pole. Probably thought it was a new way to slice the loaves. And here, boy. I hope you weren't in that crowd that was stolen the police last night. I are bidding that poor man and his wife up. The Provy says they're out to get the ones who did it. He was one of theirs. Provies? Who gives a shit about the Provies? That's enough of that. You remember who you are. I don't want any trouble around this door. And being small won't help you if they come after you. Oh, well, I wouldn't be small if you hadn't smoked so much when you were pregnant. Son, dear, you're lucky it wasn't on dope living with that bastard of a father of yours. Will you leave him out of it? Gladly. I wish the hell had left him out of it 30 years ago. And he's a long time sending for you for that good job. Should have stopped letting them put them up the chimneys now. <laughs> oh, well, you won't need to worry about that because you're not even getting into the channel tunnel. Ma! I forgot sick, Rosie, there was no cop for that. If you can't take it, just shut and dish it out. Sean! 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 That's rock and roll. Yes. We don't need that anymore. Yes. Back here, we monster. You bollocks. Oh, oh shit. About half seven. Don't be late. All right, half seven on a dot. Here, Marley. 
Was that our Sean I saw in that car? What? Uh, no. no I didn't know your Sean had a car. Aye. Don't you try and be so bloody funny with me, four eyes. Look, if he's joyriding again, Mama, I'll kill him. And I'll kill him. Aye, and I'll give you a good kick up the arse for telling me lies, wee lad. It, it, it wasn't Sean. It was Wingsy O'Dwyer. Do you think I'm daft? Wingsy O'Dwyer is in Crumlin Road Jail. Is he? He must have been let out. Maybe he's escaped. There's maybe been a breakout. I will break your face for telling me lies, wee lad. Teachers talk crap. You should have told her to get stuffed. Aye, I know. I loved just seeing you doing it. And was she really going to hit you? Aye. She had me by the throat up against the wall. I was shit scared. I didn't know she was from the Lower Falls. Being a teacher and all. Swearing at me. Aye, you can laugh if I admit again till you kill me. Are you going to stop joyriding? I'm sure I'm not. It's boring enough around here. She called me half pint. <laughs> Do you think our children will be as small as us? Yeah, they will be at first. They'll probably all be wee jar riders. I'm bloody sure on that. I'll break our arses for them. <laughs> Hypocrite. She said I could have a career. Like, not just a job, a career. It's still funny to hear someone power swearing. It wasn't like, I'll break your neck for you, wee hair. It was, I'll break your neck for you, little whore. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't funny at the time, though. <laughs> See if... I went to university in England. Like, I'm not going to, mind you. But if I did, would you come over and get a job near me? I like it here. England's the last place I'd want to go. But if I was there? <laughs> My mates are here, Marley, all a lot. Your father likes a bit of salmon. What? Well, I have a first sardines. Well, you can have sardines. Um, in tomato or oil? Oil. Tomatoes make me think they're still bleeding. Oh, really, Desmond? Uh -huh. Don't call me that. Don't you dare call me ma. That's a corner boy expression. I'm not your ma. I'm your mother. And don't you forget it. He's a real passion for which cereal? Shredded wheat. There's a word missing. Please. That's better. I don't know. Oh, I'll put cornflakes in for your father. Shredded wheat gets caught up behind his teeth. Desmond! Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Did you see that? Did you make him pay for that, John? Ring. They said if we phone in the details, they'll contact the owners and let them arrange to come and collect them. Oh, Friggers! Oh, well, that's the IUC for you. Reluctant, unwilling, and contrary. And did they say we should service them first? <laughs> Isn't it sickening? It's not enough for us to collect the damn things for them. Oh, well, I suppose they think we're going to lure them into an ambush. No doubt. The role of the revolutionary priests throughout the ages. You going to this meeting tonight? Sure, I'm taking a lift with you. 
I'm just trying to decide which colour goes with my eyes. We have international football later tonight, where you can see highlights of the match between Northern Ireland and Austria. That's in Sports Night at 10.20. But now on BBC One Northern Ireland comedy. Turn the light under his dinner? Yeah. Well, shit. He better waken his ideas up. I can't afford to go scraping good food into the bin. I think you're daft to cook for him at all. Give him a good kick up the arse and let him cook for himself. He's only a wee bit small, you know, Matt. He's not stupid or deformed or anything. He's not incapable, you know. Oh, I. Why is he so small compared to the rest of us? Did you take something to try and get rid of him? I did not indeed, you bitch. To suggest a thing like that? I only thought... Oh, you only thought nothing. Just you shut up and get out. You're the one that does that sort of thing. It's not what I wanted, Ma. I wanted to keep my babies. Oh, well, I did keep mine. All of them. And I never tried to get rid of one of them. Never! Sure. If I'm not back by 12, just lock up. Rosaline. Don't, Ma. I know. Outlook. Similar staying one day with heavy blustery showers and sunny intervals. Drier overnight, feeling rather cool. Sorry. Cold. Hey, I said that. Ah, uh, thanks, sir. So the um, the Donahue lad is to be buried tomorrow, is he? Aye. Aye. I, I knew his father, John. Yeah, he's a decent old sort, John. His own worst enemy. Drink. Perfect gentleman until he'd had a drink or two, and then he was ready to beat all around him. Had the mother's heart broke. Still a, a real gentleman when he was sober. Your coffee, dear. Mind you, don't dribble it now. Joyriding. Some joy in that. Yeah. A bread van. Why on earth would anybody want to steal a, a bread van? Here, yeah, nothing needed the dough. <laughs> <laughs> Always avoid the obvious one, son. That's the difference between a funny man and a fool. I, uh, I have to go now. Um, I'll probably watch a few videos after the club. Aye. Hey! Mind yourself crossing the road. As long as we know where you are. And don't be too late. Yes, Mum. Look at the walk of him. The big feet go forward and pull the rest off them. <laughs> Shit. You know what they say about big feet? All right, well, Marley, it's like having a garden hose and no garden. Ah! Hey! What did I sat on? Turnips? What are they for? Uh, we're going to make you supper. Never mind, now. <laughs> oh, hey, that reminds me, Sean. <laughs> Marley, what do I want my bunk cases? Oh, no, there's more. Francis could bake you wee buns. Here, <laughs> sardines in oil. <laughs> Great, I love sardines. Yuck, a brains and a guts and a shake and all still inside them things. And here, maybe you might like a wee drop of mustard. It's French, and you wouldn't want the oil English stuff. Mm. Hello. Father Murphy. Uh, hello. Long time no see. Father O'Brien, hello, hello. Retoner. Could have both here to come. Come on in. Oh, not what I'd call a full house. There's a brave few now, Father. And they're still coming, as you can see. Is my car going to be all right out there? It's a beige metro. 
Oh, no, they wouldn't touch a metro, Father. The thing is, what they really go for... <coughs> Don't you worry, Father O'Brien. A few of the lads are going to stay out there and mend them. Uh, we two stole from the car park during Mass last week. It's desperate, Father. But still, the heart ambulance to the wood. Um, if you will just excuse me a minute. <coughs> Mets. <laughs> Sorry, if you just go up there on the platform, they'll make you a cup of tea. Tea? Hello, Father. Hello, oh, hello Teresa. Oh. Nice to see you here. <laughs> That my son is Reggie Devine. Reggie Devine, Chief of Staff. Ex, ex Chief of Staff. Well, let's go get the bastard. What for? Four hours up at Castle Ray and he walks away grinning all over his gob now. Leading to these wee bastards. They can cause him more grief than we can at the minute. I can put one right between his eyes. Put that bloody thing away. You don't have a current vermin license. And you just sit there and calmly watch him. It's called experience. You should play pocket billiards. What? Keeps me calm. Reggie Devine and the Bone Crushers. Uh, so it's going to be that kind of a meeting. Go right to the end. Let's move to the end. Fathers, Reggie, ladies and gentlemen, could you all to come? I know a few of you have been to meetings like this before, but this one's going to be different. We're not just going to talk and arrange more wee meetings and appoint dopey wee committees. Tonight, we're going to plan action, real action. Action that'll drive the Joyriders and Hoots off these streets of West Belfast once and for all! Again and again and again. 
and it has failed again and again and again. What I see in West Belfast is a society literally tearing itself apart. A society literally being eaten by its own young. The paramilitaries can't solve the problem and the RUC won't solve it. Violence is not the way. We've got to show our young people a better way. We're not fighting aliens. We're not fighting an invading army. An invading army would be quieter. <laughs> For goodness sake, these are our own young people. to three, and then we are going to beat you out of here. One, two, three! There was no call for that. They just come in here to talk to us. Right, you can get out too. What have we done? Well, don't allow Joyride or Slags in here. Now get out and stay out. Don't you call me a slag! Oh, <laughs> get her out of here before I hit her, too. Come on, Francis. Come on. You can stuff this bloody eye club up the smelly arse. Hey, there'll be no swearing in here. Out, Slags! Out, Slags! Out, Slags! Out, Slags! Out, Slags! about who started it. I'm not interested in history lessons from my Catholic church. These are hoods. That's what they are. They're not just bored, depraved young teenagers. These are hoods. Scum. Ladies and gentlemen, like I'm no speaker, but I'd just like to say one thing. Those wee bastards out there don't understand anything oh, but a bloody good hiding. Yeah, right. yeah. Listen now. Listen. I propose we drive them off our streets. We'll hang them night and day. And if they make our lives a misery, well, we make their lives an even bigger misery. Yeah. It's you who's the cause of everybody's misery. And it's the likes of you, the IRA, that brought them onto the streets in the first place. It's you and your like that taught them how to steal cars and to riot and to destroy. They're your monsters. Very well, Father Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know anything about the IRA. Or about its involvement in all of this. But let's agree with Father Murphy. Let's accept that they are indeed our monsters. In that case, they're our responsibility. So let us deal with them in our own way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go and get them. Yeah. Well, we lost.
lost that one, Tom. Did we, though? I don't know. We demonstrated all the humanity of our priestly calling. And if those thugs who were in here beat the tripe out of those thugs who were out there, and the RUC thugs in turn beat the tripe out of both sets of other thugs, will you lose any sleep? You've been up here too long, Tom. Swing this one in. Good header. Good goal. Ian Bowie. That's his first goal for his country. What a beautiful free kick. And a quite exquisitely placed header for Ian Bowie. 1 0. I'll be glad they come out on a cold and windy night in Belfast. I will be up in a moment, my darling. Hey, don't you be falling asleep on me now. I won't. Because when I see them score, I want to score too. You go downstairs and I'll do it. And don't bloody miss. Go. Down the street, Marley. 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 I'll get you, you wee bastard. Tried to run us down. It shouted something like uh, Mark or Marky. Maybe it was Marble. Marley, you scared the shit out of me. Jesus, Marley, you're stinking. I was dog shit mostly. I kind of through back gardens and I, I tell you, fuck, it's not my own shit. I was never so frightened in all my life. You should have let me drive. Aye, and then we wouldn't have needed the turnips because you'd have driven straight into the living room. Aye, well, I didn't miss anyway. Some shot, eh? Right through the middle. Some shot. You were virtually standing on the friggin' windy, so. Here, where's your others? Girls are away home. You's got out for a rake when Neil can't do. Well, where's our wheels? <laughs> a dump. I got a bloody vigilante through the windscreen. <laughs> There's a cavalier out in the gardens. Do you fancy a sprint? Aye. I could do with something to calm it down. Oh, we're going fighting this shit out of a few vigilantes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, Molly. That's a desperate bloody call. It's rotten, isn't it? <coughs> Must feed their dogs and dead babies. <laughs> <laughs> Turning to cold and strong northerly winds, fairly frequent and heavy showers. 
Weather forecast daft. The forecast just about everything, so they're bound to be right. <laughs> ah, but you see, son. Your coffee, dear. What's what's going on? Who's that at the door? Desmond. There he is. There's nothing to worry about, Mrs. Desmond's never been in any trouble. He's a good boy. We just want to have a few wee words with him. It's probably nothing. He, he, he's in this house for his every meal. He, he reads that paper to me every night. You say he just went out the back? Yes. Yes, he just went out. Now, never mind. Sure, we'll bump into him soon enough. You're not to worry yourself, Mrs. Hagen. He'll be all right. Sorry to bother you. Good night. Are they from the youth club that he goes to? He's misbehaved there, do you think? He's here. He on it again. He's one of the worst. He really needs sorting out. Do you want to go and get him, Reggie? No. We don't need all of them this time. Go on. A lesson. An example. That's all we need. Put your hands on the table. Reggie he nearly killed my wife. You know about Sean O'Neill, don't you, Paul? Huh? Two brothers, mates of mine, comrades, shot dead. One by the prods, one by the Brits. We don't touch Sean O'Neill. Right? Well, not this time, anyway. Silly. Well, maybe he weighs up when he sees what's happened to his mate. Maybe I'd have a quiet word with him. Maybe we let him start his own grocery business? Look, he threw turf through my bloody window. If you don't sort him out, I will. I wouldn't do that, Paul, if I were you. Pretty of pictures you were expecting. <laughs> Ankles, knees, shoulders, elbows, and you did the fingers yourself. Good job. It'll be a long time before he sits behind the wheel again. Go on in and brew up. Call an ambulance. 
Well, go on, a lot of you. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Most of those men have sons of their own. I told his mother he'd be all right. Why can't the wee bastards behave? Reggie, you all right? Can you look at that and say you're all right, Damien? Look at him. What have we done? What are we doing? Some of these lads are the lads of comrades. Some of them are the orphans of men who died for Ireland. I mean, all we're doing is... What's gone wrong, Damien, huh? What in the name of God has gone wrong? Been a busy boy, haven't you? Some good stuff here. 30, 40, 50. That's your lad. Okay. One thing about the war, he goes for quality. 15. Good, good. No more sixes or sevens. Dozen. Strict minimum. These lads respond to an incentive. Hello. How's your arm today? It's rather sore, you know. And a little stiff. Would you like me to get you something? Look, look, it's Sister Mary. And a wee vase of flowers. Oh, that's great. It's a wild, nice present. So, are you all going to go on the run then? Aye, <laughs> we're entering the marathon. Ways up, Marley. Well, now that you know who done it, I think you all better lay low for a while. Oh, well, my ma told me I should never lie. We're not afraid of those shites. I was sore, Sean. But you said it only hurt when you laughed. Oh, well, I laugh all the time. OK, get a big claim. I hope you remember who your friends are. Well, they said if I put in for a claim, I'd get a head job. Dirty bastards. That's not fair. Do you remember the day they made us walk around and around the chapel with the placards on? I'm a car thief. <laughs> Aye, we should do that again. All the old dolls felt sorry for us. Remember they kept giving us sweets and cigarettes and money? And then we had a big party up in Renty's house that night, do you remember? And Renty, he was the king when we were wee lads. They arrested Renty one day. Seeing the lad him go, he stole the police <laughs> land over and drove home in it. <laughs> when he got to his own house, his dad and his brother Joe thought it was a raid and went on the run for a week. <laughs> <laughs> he told the magistrate he'd a bad leg and they refused to give him his bus for her. <laughs> Aye, because he'd been kneecapped by a probies about four times. No, I heard when the UDR shot him, they let him bleed to death and they wouldn't even phone an ambulance. They were probably afraid he'd nick that too. <laughs> <laughs> get married, Sean. We'll have to. You're the only girl my size. <laughs> Look, stop hooting, Sean. You're letting them turn you into a gangster. I need to keep you in jelly babies. Let's get away from that crowd. Just go back to you, me and Marley. Maybe Hugh and Mary if they stay off the glue. Those people that buy the stuff, they're just using you, Sean. Are you going out tonight? No. I've too much homework to do. Why, what are you going to do? The bitch is trying to work with a death now. It'll keep you off the streets.
just trying to put my knickers on. I break your bollocks, Tonto. Wait, boy, man, wait, boy. Your knickers were never meant to stay on forever. <laughs> Let go. Christ, you stick of glue. Glue to you. Give us a wee suck of your tits. <laughs> peace, man, peace. Share with your fellow man. Right, everybody ready? Thunderbirds are go, baby. Right, you go. Rosaline, Rosaline, love, it's okay. I'm all right now. What are you, filthy pig? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful night. That quiet, you could hear ten pounds of Semtex explode. Marvellous, too. Sometimes Nigel Mansell can hardly go a hundred yards without breaking down or blowing up. Yet these wee hers seem to be able to drive all night. And they never seem to stop. Evening, father. Delightful. Remind me to give the party a miss in the morning. Go on, Papa. Go on. Following the joyriders, a meals on wheel service, courtesy of the NHS. Or maybe they are bloody joyriders. No, Peter. There are times when I don't think you take this place seriously enough. <laughs> You were Sean. Is he never in yet? He said he was going to be awake. Who's awake? Well, some friend of his whose granny died, somewhere out near Crumlin, I think he said. Do you know something, Ma? If our Sean said he was going to Liverpool in the Titanic, I think you'd believe him. Oh, well, you'll learn too soon enough. When you have sons, you spend your life wanting to believe them, fearing the worst and <laughs> hoping for the best. I wish you'd let me keep up my violin lessons, Ma.
He's at it again, isn't he? Are you asking me or telling me, Ma? Why don't they snip a glue like normal joy raiders? Not put it in my locks. There's more nails in my tires than I put in the bloody cross. Oh, my wakers aren't working. And you don't put iron bars through windows. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, John the Cops! <laughs> Have we? Let's get you out of there. Well, well, well. Long runs the fox. Oh, fast as a wart. <laughs> that was quite a wee bang. You must have hurt yourself, Wart. <laughs> Don't you think he must have hurt himself, though? Or do you, Andy? What do you think, John? <laughs> must have done. <laughs> but sure. When we get him down the station, the doctor will have a wee look at him. <laughs> True. The doctor will fix that sore knee. Ah! <laughs> uh -huh. Oops, is he? I forgot to wear a seatbelt. Not an offence. Dangerous things, them steering wheels. to help you, Sean. I don't want to take you away from your mummy and get you locked up. Because that isn't going to do me any good, is it? Trouble is, how do I explain helping you to my bosses? Because they're not going to believe that a lad from your background doesn't know things that we'd like to know. What I'm saying is, you help me, I'll help you. I'm no tight. Come on, son, there's no such thing as a tout. You're a citizen. It's your civic duty to cooperate with the police. You are obliged to give us any information you might have. Every citizen is. Touts, just an IRA buzzword. You support the IRA, do you? No, they're wankers. I agree with you. Look what happened to your two brothers. My brothers were mugs. Of course they were. All you youngsters who let yourselves be used are mugs. All we're asking from you is the odd name. The odd bit of gossip, simple as that. You don't have to take any risks. Your brothers were used, Sean. And the ones that used them, where are they today? Sitting back in their comfortable houses, driving good cars, wearing good clothes. And they can afford to do that whilst people like you and your brothers are prepared to take the risks for them, do their dirty work for them. Now you think about what I said. Your mother's outside. I'm going to let you go home with your mommy tonight. But we'll talk again. One day, I'm sure. Tell me, did you ever try to join the RAW? Told me they weren't doing Snow White that year. Stay, stay, stay. Are you okay? Stay.
Sarah, 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 Sarah. Has broke off the mirrors and wipers. Oh my window smashed and a prick through the windscreen. It's a shocking situation, Richie. Shocking. Come on, I say. Bird out, we need some tea in here. Not there, Reggie. Right. Well, I'd say. Sarah. Sarah. Be smart. Change times, isn't it, Reggie? I remember the old days when we were all in this together, whenever the Brits used to raid us. I remember the night they lifted you during internment, dragged you out by the hair and your bare feet through all that broken glass. I had to console Bernadette, do you remember? And you were crying like a stuck pig. But the Brits, bad and all as they were, they never left anybody in the mess you left young Marley Hagen in. He has to go, Sarah. That's it. Four hours to leave the country. I'm not leaving any country. You can piss off. You'll stay here until I get Father O'Brien to take you to that airport. I'm not having another bloody photograph down in that corner. I'm going to take a shower. I want to take you for the first plane in the morning. I'll send Rosie that way a bit of supper later on. Because of you, he has to leave the country. Will not go. Why should he? Do you have a black dress you're dying to wear? What's someone like you doing running around in stolen cars for anyway? Good fun. 
Great fun. Holy Jesus. Great fun. Big Tommy Don, he killed himself. And that four-eyed fool Marley, near crippled. And our Sean having to leave the bloody country. I think you must have a wee want, wee girl. Look, you're supposed to be bright. You're supposed to be one of the stars of that school of yours. Do you want to end up like me? I'm not going to end up like you. Don't you give me any cheek or I'll break your face for you. If we bitches like you didn't encourage half-wits like our Sean, there wouldn't be any joyriding. Now, I would advise you strongly to clear off before my ma comes down those stairs or they will be picking your teeth out of your shite. I go with Sean, you know. Well, if you go with Sean, you're going nowhere. Now do yourself and him a favour and get lost. Get lost. Get lost! Tell Sean I'll see him later. You'll never see him again, you wee bitch! Where are you going, you? Just over the top road, a wee thrill for Marley. Nah, you don't go straight there or let me out. It won't take a second. I said go straight there. Can't, that's a car, it has to turn corners. I've told you, you promised me. If those others catch Sean. Francis, just a few old handbreakers. Give him a big hello. I'll be a proper night out. It's tradition. Stop your tradition. I'm warning you, Hugh. I want out. Stop this car. Can't. No brakes. Look, man, no hands. <laughs> Mary, Mary, make him go straight there. Ordering people out of the country. Who do you think they are, the bloody Israelis? Some bloody country this is. I'm leaving if they don't leave us alone. Even England would be better than this. Have you ever been to England, Paddy? Nah. Our Peter's there. Hates it. Says it's crap. I don't want to go, Paddy. You should have thought of that sooner, Wart. You've no fucking choice now. Unless you want Irvins in the skull. I don't know anybody over there. Well, they'll know you. They'll know you're Irish. And they'll kick your shit in.
Yourself, John. They're all dead! They're all fucking dead! Yeah, get up yourself, Colin! Stop, stay there! Do we not get? Wash your car! Where is it? It's down behind the school, you mad wee bastard! If you want to go and get yourself killed, well and good! Bloody wee not kids. Sean. Francis. I made you let me out. I wasn't there. Oh my God, Sean. Helene. Helene, who's there? What, what is it? It's Father O'Brien. Father Murphy, Mr. Haig. <laughs> You're Sean O'Neill, you say? Yes, Mr. Hagen. The wart. Yeah. Aye. The wart O'Neill. Desmond used to talk about you right enough. The wart O'Neill. You were his best friend, weren't you? I was. We were best mates. Aye, well, if you hadn't been his best friend, he'd be alive today. I can't see you, son. But I never want to hear your footfall on my path again. Mom, 
boy. You've no need to come round. He's gone. I'm not here to make sure he goes. We've, uh, well, in the light of what happened last night, we've decided, uh, in the circumstances, like, we've decided to let you stay, son. You know, Ma, there's a desperate smell in this house. I wish you'd do something about it. I'd hate to go to England with that smell in my nose. Be careful now. Stay out of trouble. Good luck. Okay. Okay, it's all right. Thank you. 